Hey everybody, it's Scott Hansen from the riffle.blogspot.com. I'm here to do another fly focus video tutorial. This is a new fly I just uh, came up with a few weeks ago, and I call it the squawk. It's uh, part squirrel fur, part duck feather, and uh, I just combined the two uh, words, squirrel and duck, and came up with squawk. Uh, I don't know, the name will stick, but I like it. Uh, don't forget there's an umlaut in there. Uh, this is just a uh, size 14 squawk I have in the vise here. Uh, it's just a kind of a basic squirrel nymph with a CDC uh, hackle, black brass bead, and uh, it's a size 14. Um, it really worked well uh, last time I went trout fishing, and I think it's a winner. Let's get a new hook in the vise here, and we'll tie it up. This is, like I said, this is a size 14. This is a Daiichi 1710, which is a one extra long nymph hook. I gotta get, I gotta oil that vise. Holy moly, that's squeaky, huh? And I already have a 764 inch black brass bead on there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra lead to this. One, two, three. So, six to eight wraps or so. Pinch that off. front and the back and we'll just slide that right up into the bead there so everything is nice and secure and I've got uh, just some ADOT brown dark brown uni thread here that so I will start on the hook right behind the lead and I'll just fill that in all the way back to the bend and then just come back to right behind the lead the tail on the squawk is just uh, pheasant tail fibers you can see there I'll just cut out oh six to ten fibers here and tie them in try to get them so that they're all fairly even get rid of that guy there and uh, my nymph Tails, I like to have, I don't know, less than half of the length of the hook shank, so we'll just put those in place right about there. And wrap those down all the way to the back. And the rib on the squawk is just some black copper wire. This is uh, brassy sized copper wire, just a strand of black here. Tie that in. I kind of, when I tie that, my copper wire in on nymphs, I like to tie it on one side of the hook or the other, just so that the profile of the fly is a little wider than it normally would be. And I'll leave my thread hanging back there. Now the dubbing for the squawk is just, uh, you see this, some Davy Watton SLF squirrel dubbing, and the color is Natural Box, number 11. Um, I've had this package since 2001, 18 years old, I've still got a lot of fur left, um, but I think you can still get it. Uh, we'll just take off a little pinch here and dub that on the old thread there. And I'm going to do about uh, three quarters of the hook shank here with this. So I've got about an inch, a little over an inch of fur on my thread to start out with. And we'll just wrap that forward and get up to, oh, about a bead length behind the bead. I'll take my black copper wire here and I'm going to counter wrap that so that it doesn't completely bed down into the fur and get lost. And I'll come right up to where the threads hang in here. Tie that off. And I usually just wiggle off my 
copper wire whenever I tie that in. Don't want to kill your scissors if you don't have to. Now the hackle on this. Uh, I like to. I love to use CDC feathers on my nymphs. Uh, I just wrap them like a soft hackle, and I think the barbells um, just trap air bubbles and make nymphs look super buggy and alive. So I like to use those. I'm just going to tie this in by the butt end here, uh, right in front of that fur that I've wrapped and behind the bead just wrap that in a few times now if you don't know CDC feathers are quite delicate so you gotta be very careful when you are wrapping them I take my hackle pliers here and I will go straight in from the top of the feather try to make sure I grab the stem that feather while I'm wrapping so that it doesn't um, break too easily. And let's wrap this around a couple times and throw my thread over the stem. Trim that out. It's nice and buggy there. And now between that, where I tied off my hackle, my CDC hackle, and the bead, I just want to fill that in with a nice fat section of fur. I'm going to use the exact same squirrel fur for that part of the fly. Make it a little fatter. And I'm just going to fill that in. Make it nice and buggy. Make sure you get your spun around your thread there so it doesn't fly off get that tied in that looks pretty good and I'm just gonna take my whip finisher here and tie this off right behind the bead and there we've got our completed look you can tie this down to size so 18 or 20 up to 10 or 12. Uh, the squirrel fur is very spiky. It's got a great look. Uh, I love CDC on my nymphs. I think they look uh, look great and they're, uh, they absolutely slay the fish. So um, it's already a proven winner for me. I think you'll like it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.